Hello and welcome, Brandon here. Thanks for choosing my video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you think someone you know can also benefit by watching, please share. And as always, please subscribe. I appreciate it very much. So let's go ahead and get started. In this video, I want to walk you through how to perform logistic regression regardless of whether you're online or on your desktop or regardless of whether you're on a PC or a Mac. So I'm gonna show you how to do this on Excel 2013 or Office 365. Then I'll show you how to do it on Excel Online, which of course, since it's web-based, will work on either PC or Mac. And then I'll show you how to do it on Google Sheets, which of course, since it's web-based, will also work on a PC or a Mac. So first, let's go ahead and learn how to do it in Excel 2013 or Office 365. So you can see we have our data over here on the left in the first two columns, and it's quite a large data set. So I'm gonna scroll down here and we will see that it goes all the way down to row 1003. So that will make it easier to type in our cell ranges here in a second. Now doing logistic regression will require the use of a task pane app, because if you go to the regular data analysis add-in in Excel for PC, you can see that there is no logistic regression here. So we're going to have to use a specialized task pane app that is free, and we love free things. So we'll go ahead and get the app. So we'll go up to the insert in the ribbon. Then we'll go to the store. That will open up apps for office. And what we want to do is type in XL minor. We'll do a search. And what we want is the XL minor analysis tool pack. So we'll click on that. We'll say trust. And now, on the right hand side in the task pane, we have the Excel Miner Analysis Tool Pack. Now if you look at this, you'll notice that it looks a lot like the data analysis add-in that comes with Excel for PC. And that's because it is. But you'll notice that over here in the native Excel add-in, we only have regression. But over here in the tool pack, we have logistic regression. So now we can do logistic regression just like we did in the regular data analysis add-in for PC. So let's go ahead and do it. So we'll go ahead and click logistic regression. It's gonna ask us for our input Y range and input X range. So our Y range is our dependent variable, which is the approve column. So I'm gonna go ahead and just type in the range. I know it is B1 to B1003. Now you could click and drag if your data set is smaller. Say if it's like 25 rows, you could just click and drag. For the Y range, that's A1 to A1003. I do have labels in my first column. Constant is zero, we're not gonna force that. Confidence level 95%, that's pretty standard, we'll keep that. So for output range, I'm gonna select cell E1. Now this output range input field can be a bit buggy or strange in the way it works. So sometimes it won't select the cell you want. If that's the case, just delete and then select the cell you want. See how it works, it's kind of weird. So I want E1 and there it goes. I could always just type in E1 by itself, but that's sort of a weird way it works. Okay, so we have everything we need. I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. And we have our logistic regression output in Excel with one click. So if we pull up the PowerPoint, we'll see that the coefficients that we had on our output from Minitab are the exact same. So negative 9.357 and 0 0.01465. And that is how you perform logistic regression in Excel 2013 or Office 365 for PC using the Excel Miner Analysis tool pack, which is of course free. So now we will do the same thing in Excel Online, which is run from OneDrive. So we're going to go ahead into the Insert ribbon, Apps for Office, and we're going to do the same thing we did before. So once this loads up, we're going to go to the Office Store. We'll search for Excel Miner, Excel Miner. And again, the Excel Miner Analysis Tool Pack. We'll click that. We'll click trust it. And now we have the same Excel Miner Analysis tool pack in the task pane that we had in Desktop Excel. But because we're working on the web, this will work on a Mac or a PC. 
So same thing, we'll go down to logistic regression here. Input our Y range, which because it's so long, I'm just gonna type in as B1 to B1003. The X range is A1 to A1003. I do have labels, constant is zero, I'll leave unchecked. Confidence interval 95%. Output range, I'll select to be E1. And again, this is the buggy part of this. I'll just type E1. For some reason, that does that, and I don't know why. Anyway, it's easy to type in E1. So we'll go ahead and click OK. Now this does take a couple of seconds on Excel Online, but there we have it. So our coefficients of negative 9.3574 and then 0 0.01653 are the exact same we had when Minitab did the output. So here we have the logistic regression output in Excel online using the free Excel Miner analysis tool pack on a PC or a Mac. So last but not least, we'll go ahead and do it in Google Sheets as well. So we will need an add-on, so we'll go to add-ons, get add-ons. We'll type in, as usual, Excel Miner. And we see the Excel Miner Analysis Tool Pack. Click that, give it the permission it needs, and click Accept. So now we have access to the Tool Pack as well. And this is really important because Google Sheets does not natively have any sort of data analysis add in. But luckily, the Excel Miner Tool Pack is free and will allow us to do all the usual statistical tests in Google Sheets. So we'll go ahead and go to Add-ons, Excel Miner Tool Pack, Start. And now over here on the right-hand side, we have the same list of statistical tests that we would usually see in the desktop version of Excel or in the Tool Pack version that we used in Desktop Excel or Excel Online. So we want logistic regression, we'll click on that. The Y range, I'll type in because it's a thousand rows, a bit over a thousand rows. So that is B1 to B1003. The input X range is A1 to A1003. Now again, if the data set is small, you can select it by scrolling down. Now I will say the scrolling in Google Sheets works a bit differently. So for example, if I did the X input range here, See how it always wants to select A1? That's because I have A1 selected over here in the sheet. But if I selected G, you know, down to G18, I guess it is, and then I clicked in the box, it would input G1 to G18. That's different than how Excel works, either Excel on the desktop or Excel online. So you just have to get used to how each uh, software program works. So I'm gonna go ahead and just type in A1 again. A1 to A1003. I do have labels in the first row, so I'll check that. Constant is zero, I'll leave unchecked. Confidence level 95% is where I'll leave it at. Output range, see how it selected E1 because I already had E1 selected. That's just a, a way Google Sheets works. It's a little bit different. Once you do it a couple of times, you get used to it. So go ahead and click OK. This will take a second or two because it's crunching a thousand numbers in the background. And it'll appear here in just a second. There it is. So again, we have our intercept of negative 9.35744. If you recall, that's the same thing we did in Excel. Then we have our credit score, our FICO score coefficient of 0 0.014653. Again, that's pretty close to what we had in Excel. There might be a little bit difference in rounding once you go five, six, seven digits out. That's just because of the way the algorithm is done in each of the programs. So now you can do logistic regression with a couple of clicks in desktop Excel for PC, so 2013 or 365. You can also do it in Excel Online, which since it's web-based will work on a Mac or a PC. And you can do it in Google Sheets, which of course, since it is also web-based, you can do on a Mac or a PC. Now, of course, you can do any of the other statistical analysis over here on the right. This is just logistic regression, and it's special because it is not part of the tool pack that comes with Excel on a PC. So that's what makes it different. That's why I'm doing it here. But anything else you wanna do is over here on the right-hand side as well. So I hope you found this helpful, and thank you for watching.